video conferencing is a synchronous conversation tool and one example is Skype which is basically an internet telephone service with video and chat options. And when you introduce your students to Skype um, you need to make sure that you share safety issues um, and they're basically the same that apply to uh, to any information you put online. You don't want to use your real name, you don't want to use usernames with meanings, um, but the two main ones that are specific to Skype is you don't want to go on the Skype me mode. That means your account is public, not private, and anybody can call you. So you don't want that. And the other one is you don't want to call a landline phone because that may cost you a lot of money. Um, but at the bottom is a link uh, from the Cool Cat Teacher website uh, and uh, Vicky Davis guides you through the downloading and setting up account process. So if you're interested, you might want to check that out. Um, using Skype in the classroom is pretty easy. Um, you can invite guest speakers. I remember seeing a science teacher talking with a NASA person one day. Um, as a language art teacher, I can see myself using um, authors, inviting authors or poets to the classroom, talking to the students. Uh, Mark Cartel does that, and we may be able to see a video um, showing this. Uh, since money is very tight, uh, virtual field trips make sense. And if you can go to the museum, why not invite the curator to your classroom via Skype? Um, another way also is to connect with other classrooms around the world. As a um, social studies teacher, I would love to be able to talk to a classroom in Germany and kind of exchange um, our views on World War II and how they feel about World War II right now and the impact of World War II in Europe. Um, a, a good way to get uh, to find uh, classrooms is to uh, go to uh, epals.com and set up an account. Um, that's a start. Um, I'm sure there's other avenues as well. And I put some other stuff at the bottom about um, just for teachers. We talked last week about sharing student work with parents when they're overseas or you know, not on the same town and they have a presentation and you can't be there. Um, and Skype would be a great way to, um, to be available to those parents like that. What users say about Skype? Well, first of all, it's free. That's fantastic. <laughs> Uh, customer service is great. They're constantly improving their service. It's um, user-friendly. There's no need for new equipment. Um, the only problem might be that sometimes the connections may be unstable and you may be kicked out. And one major thing you need to check is it may be blocked in your school. 